In this video, we are going to talk about array formulas in Excel. Array formulas are a way to use Excel formulas where the formula typically only works on a single number. So for example, there's some numbers in the supply column here that are highlighted, 9, 26, 34, and so on. And if I wanted to, I could multiply them by 2 individually, so 9 times 2, 26 times 2, and so on. And then I could add them up. So for example, let's try this. Equals 9 times 2. There are all of my data points times 2, and I can add them up. Array formulas give me a way to do this with, in a single cell. So up here, I'm going to create an array formula that multiplies each of these numbers by 2 and adds them up. So the function I want to use is sum. That works on an array of numbers. But of course, multiplying by 2 typically only works on a single number. So I'm going to do sum. Here is my structured reference to the supply column. And I'm going to multiply these by 2. Now, to get, uh, to get an array formula to work, I have to use not return, which will error out, give me a hash value, but instead control shift enter. And that gives me the sum of all the numbers in the supply column multiplied by 2. Let me do another example in which we're going to compute a regression. But this time, we're not going to do a linear regression on the data, but instead we're going to do a linear regression where our x values are not the numbers, but actually the natural log of the numbers. So linear regression would typically be lin est. The known y's are going to be these dollar amounts. The known x's, though, are going to be the natural log of my x values. And this is going to compute the coefficients. The first one will be a, and the second one will be b. For the best fit equation, y equals a times the natural log of x plus b. Control, shift, enter, and I have my coefficients. And if you see the array form, this array formula actually has two parts to it. One, natural log typically only works on a single number, and we've passed a whole array of numbers into the natural log. And then two, linest actually returns multiple values. And so this is a multi-cell array formula because it's returning multiple values.